Think of your favourite professional athlete. Think of all the hard work, dedication, sacrifices, luck and skill that was required to get them to the top. Now think about how rare that is. The odds of a college athlete becoming a professional, let alone becoming the best in the world at their event, is only around 0.4%. Scotland, a small country of only around 5.5 million, has produced some of the best middle distance track and field athletes in the whole world. At the heart of the country, the national championships is held once every year. This is where the best local athletes go to put it all on the line and have their shot at a national title. How are your legs feeling today? Yeah, they're okay. Obviously, um, they're not like completely fresh when I woke up this morning. Yeah. But once I got warmed up, I was feeling okay. Yeah, uh -huh. so I was kind of ready to go. And the fact that it's a straight final really helps. So two yeah. races is much better than four races. But yesterday, I didn't know it was a straight final in, like te until 10 minutes before. Um, but then today, I arrived here only expecting a straight final. So I was more prepared oh, for okay. that. Do you feel like doing that 800 yesterday somewhat helped you loosen off the legs for the speed again today? Yeah, I think I'm more of an 800 meter athlete so I know the speed is always there so I look yeah. forward to a bit of a sit and kick 1500. Um, but it's nice to have raced yesterday to get the kind of nerves out of the way and then today's just to see what I can do. Did it feel a lot slower today than yesterday? Yeah, first, first 800 was quite slow. <laughs> <laughs> And they said you won the double double, so you won the eight and fifteen here last year as well. Does it feel good to kind of like come back and keep those titles? Yeah, no, absolutely. Especially because I've had so many injuries and illness. Like it's so nice to actually do it two years in a row. Like yeah. that shows a bit of consistency, even if in between that there's been not that much consistency. It's yeah. nice to like yeah put something down on paper. Yeah, yeah it was a really good race. Um, pretty much as I expected, a pretty slow tactical race given the wind and then a bit of a burn up on the last lap so yeah I was pleased. Definitely. Came away with a bronze medal in the end, yeah. was that what you were hoping coming into these championships? Yeah I was looking for a medal, I raced in the 800 yesterday so I was just hoping my legs would be able to hold out for another uh, 1500 today and yeah. so pleased with the medal, the times are slightly irrelevant today. But and the Scottish Champ is quite a big deal for everyone that lives here. Like, what does it mean for you to come and compete here? And what's your kind of reasoning for, for doing that? Yeah. Um. So I've just kind of like I feel like not that many people turn up, <laughs> um, especially <laughs> in the girls' side, which is why we only have straight finals. Yeah. But it's quite important to me because I've done it since I was young. Uh -huh. um, always come. It's been great race experience. Uh, it's good to like practice like a slow tactical race, or like you never really know what you're gonna get. Um, 
and also race some different girls like a lot of the people who I was racing they're like 5k cross country runners and yeah. um, I've been doing mostly 15s this season and Hannah Cameron came second yesterday she's been doing 800 so it's like nice to come and like all meet at Scottish Champs and race. Yeah. Um, I always like competing at the Scottish Champs I feel like it's a good sort of like I don't know you get kind of a bit of like a bit of silverware from it you don't get that a lot when you're a senior athlete especially yeah. If you're going to the British Champs, the chances of you meddling are very slim. So it's nice to get a bit of to get a medal in the season, and it yeah, shows that you've put your hard work into a bit of perspective. I just love racing here, it's championship race and we don't get many styles of race like this for tactical ones in 1500 so um, yeah no it's it's a good one and just personally like I've medalled at it four times and just come back and try and better myself is the goal yeah. And it's a very stacked field this year like yeah. a few, a couple of low 340 guys and then a couple more mid 340 guys as well so like even to medal this year would be a good result um, but yeah just get amongst it see what happens. Well done, Jimmy. Smashed him, mate. The same was good, though. Yeah? You happy? I can't complain off getting me off my girl. I know how good he is. So. Yeah, the one, two, the camera's lying, mate. Nah, I'm, buzzing, I'm buzzing with that, man. We've talked about it all season, so. Yeah, I was so sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm buzzing for Mike. Yeah. Because, I mean, I came close to winning last year, we didn't get it. Yeah. And Mike's never had somebody win this, so. I'm buzzing with my girl. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I'm real, mate. Well done, lad. Oh, 
then nearly 65. Right. I don't think they realised it. That's what we're saying. I don't, think were, I don't think they realised he was slowing and then, uh -huh. and then lifting. I hit 152 there, but I also hit 252. Yeah. So uh, that was a 60. That was a 60, yeah. Have you poured it on yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a 1500 metre champ. Canvas Lang, the Canvas Lang 1 2. How's that race for you? Pretty unreal. Yeah, delighted to uh, kind of see it over the line. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've not. I feel like I've not had a lot of kind of tactical race experience, so yeah, yeah good to get a bit more of that under the belt as well. Definitely, you had your teammate Jamie right behind you as well. Yeah, How was it like just going through the heats and all that today, having him by your side? It was good. I've I've got the dragonflies on now, so I feel yeah. like they they do really make a difference yeah. coming through the rounds. Um, felt a wee bit tired today coming in, but uh -huh. I just said to myself like. I work as a cleaner, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that coming into most sessions at night. I'm very committed to Scotland and the Scottish scene and um, training here, and I tried to make it work in Scotland. So yeah. I think coming along and, and showing face at these things is, is really important. And Definitely, yeah. It, I don't know, it kind of it, it creates that competitive edge and um, pushes everyone else on, I think. Um, really couldn't have asked for much more, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I bounced back from foot injury like, a lot quicker than I thought and then I think so I got my mile and then it was like for a month I was maybe treading water a bit mm. and then it kind of clicked again so yeah, yeah just delighted to eke that wee bit more out of the season. Definitely, plans for tonight? Um, oh for I've got my mile next weekend so oh, okay, um, yeah, you've got to keep it easy. Yeah gonna stay focused for another week and then let yeah. off some steam before uni. Nice and any final words at all? Um, no other than just thanking Mike and the boys at, at training for yeah. for helping me like these past 18 months. They've really brought me on since I've come to uni and it's it's such a, a good and welcoming welcoming yeah. group. So yeah, really happy to be Definitely. part of that. Well done today, mate. Cheers to